Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand, we'll try to convert ER diagram to database schema. So the concept of converting the requirements into ER diagram has clearly explained in our previous videos. We have taken nearly 25, 20 to 25 videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. So this entire diagram, how this entire diagram has been converted from the requirements has been clearly discussed. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concept and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now now this uh, out of this entire er diagram we are going to convert just a smallest part of this a simplest part of it uh, one relationship uh, we will try to convert and what we are going to convert is uh, this part this works for relationship we are going to convert so employee and works for relation and department so this part we will try to convert it into database schema in our previous class we have discussed that an entity type of an er diagram is representing a relation in the relational database management system rdbms so based upon that based upon that this employee entity type is going to be converted into a relation converted into a relation relation and the relation name is employee and what about the columns of this relation so the attributes of an entity type are represented as the columns of the relation and one more very important point to make note of is make note of is every attribute in a relation every attribute or every column in a table or should be should be atomic attributes or simple attributes they should not be composite attributes they should not be uh, uh, multi-valued attributes all the attributes should be simple attributes now if you consider if we consider this name name is a composite attribute which can be further divided into f name a middle initial and l name so we are not going to consider just name so we are going to consider the sub parts further division subdivisions of the name which are f name middle initial and l name as the columns of the relationship of the relation employee okay so we are going to start with the name and which is F name which are F name middle initial middle initial and the next one is L name and the other attributes are B date B date and the next one is SSN SSN is a key attribute and how those key attributes are represented in relation in a table just by giving the underline so just by underlining that same as that of the attribute in the er diagram so the uh, key attributes are underlined the next one is address address next one is salary next one is sex so these are all the attributes of an employee and the next entity type that we are going to consider is it is department so an entity type will get converted into will get converted into uh, a relation in the database schema and what are the attributes of department it is name so we will take it as d name it is our wish we can change the names of the uh, attributes and this is a key attribute so we are going to underline it and the next one is d number d number and we are going to underline it because it is another key attribute so this is one key attribute and this is another key attribute okay the next one is locations so being a multi-valued attribute this is not allowed as a column as an attribute in the relation so what we will do is at this point of time as of now we will just take that locations as an attribute so later 
in our later videos where we are going to convert this entire ER diagram into database schema so that locations will be uh, taken off from the department so how it will be taken off and what is the reason behind that and how it will get converted that we will try to understand in our later classes right now at this point of time just take it as an attribute okay so uh, the attribute is locations okay because it is a multi-valued attribute okay so now now we have converted uh, the entity type and the attributes as the relation and columns of a table now how this relation works for can be represented if we recap our knowledge if we recap our uh, uh, discussion on er diagrams er diagrams we have converted an attribute called department department attribute has been converted into this relation so every relation is an attribute if you closely observe so what we will do in this uh, uh, conversion in the database schema is uh, this relation is again converted into an attribute from where it has been considered employee so we are going to add that uh, relation back to the uh, 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 relation uh, we will uh, we will convert this relationship to a attribute back to this relation so we are going to convert this as an attribute so what is the name of this attribute what is the name of this attribute in the ER diagram it is department so what it means is an employee so this this value of department is going to represent that this employee this employee is working in this department employee one is working in department one uh, employee two is working in department number three employee three is working in department so that representation is made by this attribute okay so how can we represent the department what is the best way to represent the department either by taking d name d name which means uh, uh, name of the department is unique or by taking d number because the department number is also unique by just giving department number department number we can understand that this particular employee is working in that particular department okay so what we will do is we will we will name that attribute as d number or simply we will take it as d n o okay so if you closely observe if a, a key attribute of an uh, of a so this is department so what the the point that I am going to discuss now is very important. See here, a key attribute of an uh, of a relation of a relation is representing in another table. See here, what is the key attribute here? D number. This D number. This D number. Uh, the value of this D number. So the D number values that we are going to uh, add insert into this table. Those D number values are represented in another table. In another table whenever a key attribute of a table is represented in another table then there exists a relation these two are related these two are related try to get that point so that has to be represented how it is represented is it is just represented by an arrow mark pointing so this is referencing this d number is referencing which attribute of department this this d number value is is the primary key value key value right key value this key values are represented uh, referencing where these are referencing the d number of the department so this arrow mark has to be provided so with this line of code with this line with this line we are establishing a reference uh, we are establishing a relationship so this relationship works for is established simply by giving the line where that attribute is referencing where that attribute is referencing so the values of this d number the values of this d number are referencing the values of d number in department so there exists a relation so that relation has to be established and it is established simply by uh, uh, drawing a line from there to here pointing to this 
pointing to this attribute with that we are simply stating that the values of d number are referencing the d number in the department relation now the relation has been established in the next coming this is how this is how uh, an er diagram will get converted into uh, into a database schema this is just a simplest part so in the next coming videos we are going to convert this entire er diagram into in this way okay so before discussing how to convert in the next coming classes in the next few classes two to three classes or three to four classes we will try to implement this smallest part this implement means we are going live on to the computer and we will try to we will try to create this table we will try to create this table and we will try to establish this relation so in the next coming six to seven classes we are going to discuss how to implement these two tables and how to establish the relationship between these two on a computer the real world implementation of databases so in the next coming classes we'll try to uh, 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 implement these uh, uh, the database schema the simplest part of the database schema hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching